the average roughness method this average roughness method is divided into two different categories or two different types the first type is the center line average method and second is the root mean square value method okay so this average roughness method has two different classes we will discuss these two methods with a common example which is discussed in this uh, slides okay so now first we will discuss the center line average method so it is the average height from the mean line of all the ordinates of the surface okay the surface roughness in this method can be determined by the average deviation from the nominal surface okay and it is its value is given by a formula there is one formula for center line average method this method is also known as arithmetic average method okay so it is also called as arithmetic average so arithmetic average is nothing but uh, we we will have to calculate some uh, heights from a datum line or from a reference reference line and we will take the average of all these heights and we will get the exact exactly how the roughness pattern is there okay so this mean line over here you can see so this mean line is nothing but the average line and these ordinates are nothing but the height from the this average line okay or height from the mean line okay we will discuss this with an example so over here you can see so this line starting from this o okay so this line is our reference line or we can call it as a mean line and this mean line we are dividing this mean line into equal parts okay so these points 1 2 3 4 you can see over here so these parts are nothing but or this line is divided into equal size okay or equal length you can say this is the complete sampling length okay if we are given this sample and we want to find out the uh, roughness of this sample then we will get or we will find out uh, how much is its length okay and that length will be used uh, while finding out the average okay so over here you can see the line starting from o to this point p we have divided this line complete op line into equal parts okay and also you can see there is one area a1 you can see over here so a1 is the area of this portion okay so this is uh, one of the you can say it is it is the half part of a sine wave you can say okay and that area is a1 likewise we have taken the area a2 a3 a4 and a5 also okay using these areas also we can find out the uh, average of or center line average okay so let's say so this is the formula for the center line average method okay what we want to take here so this height is h1 over here so the point starting from this one up to this it, it is h1 then from this reference line this is h2 then h3 h4 h5 and so on okay we have taken this h1 plus h2 plus h3 we, we will have to take addition of h1 up to hn and we will divide this by the number of uh, sections or number of uh, parts of the line okay or by divide it with the count of the lines okay how many parts that we have taken that we will take and divide it with that number of part okay 
so using this we can find out the average value okay and that is known as center line average then with the help of this areas also this a1 is here this a2 is here a3 a4 and a5 and so on okay we can take these areas also in order to find out the center line average okay how will how we will take this area so we have already divided this o to p line into equidistant parts okay the length of each part is known and this length is same okay and the height is different different over here so h1 h2 h3 h4 and so on these are the different heights okay and with the help of the length and height we can find out area a1 then in in this portion again we can find out area a2 and so on up to a n okay and we will divide <coughs> this complete with the number of uh, sorry with the average or sampling length okay uh, whatever the length of the sample is there that we will take over here and we can find out the center line average again okay so this is one of the uh, basic methods to find out the center line average so the surface roughness in this is the average deviation from the nominal surface as already i have told this and it is defined as the average value of the ordinates from the mean line okay so this is the mean line or average line from this we are finding out the ordinates or average value values of the ordinates okay and over here you can see cla means it is the center line average then h1 h2 dash dash this is the height of the ordinates then a1 a2 a3 and so on these are the enclosed areas and capital l is nothing but our the uh, it is our sampling length okay so this is the center line average method let's move towards the next method that is the root mean square value method again this one is the basic method to find out <coughs> the averages so rms value it is defined as the square root of the mean value of the squares of the ordinate okay we will uh, take these ordinates ordinate ordinates means it is the height okay and we will take the squares first of the uh, of these ordinates and then we will take the square root okay so and all this is for for it is of the surface measured from the mean line again okay in the previous slide also or in the previous method also we have discussed this the same over here we are doing but the difference is that we are taking the squares of the ordinates then we will add all the ordinates we will divide those ordinates with the count of the uh, ordinates and we will take its square root okay in the next slide i am going to explain uh, these two methods with a common example and from that example you can easily understand how this uh, average center line method works and how this root mean square value method works okay so next point it is the geometrical average of ordinates of the profile about the mean line then comes the next point average areas above the mean line is approximately equal to the areas below it okay whatever the areas above the main line are equal to the areas below the mean line so this is a1 and this is a2 let us consider so a1 is equal to a2 according to this root mean square value method okay now these are the formulas for this root mean square values in the arithmetic average or in the center line average the formula was h1 plus h2 
प्लस डैश 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 अप टू एच एन करेक्ट एंड होल थिंग और होल एडिशन वॉज डिवाइडेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ और द न्यू डिनोमिनेटर वॉज द एन और काउंट ऑफ द वैल्यूज ओके बट ओवर हीयर वी आर टेकिंग एच वन स्क्वायर प्लस एच टू स्क्वायर प्लस एच थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस डैश 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 अप टू एच एन स्क्वायर वी आर टेकिंग द एवरेज ऑफ दिस वी आर डिवाइडिंग इट विथ द नंबर ऑफ एच एच एंड वी आर टेकिंग द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ऑल दिस ओके और द एच आर एम एस दैट इज ऑल्सो कैन बी फाउंड विद दिस फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो द इट इज द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन डिवाइडेड बाय एल देन इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू एल एच स्क्वायर इन टू डी एल ओके using this formula also we can find out the uh, average height of the roughness okay so over here you can see it is the sampling length one sample is given again this center line is our mean line okay again we have taken this h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 okay up to so on then this is y1 and y5 okay these are the ordinates that we uh, consider so if we consider h1 h2 h3 dash 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 up to hn are the heights of the ordinates all the parts are divided equally okay so this is important points okay one of the important points is this so all parts are divided equally and capital l being the sampling length then we can find out this formula okay or we can apply this formula and generally rms value is always greater than or it is greater than the center line average value for the same profile by 1.11 times okay if we take the average value of this profile with the help of rms method and with the help of center line average method then the rms value will be greater than the this center line average method okay that we are going to discuss with the help of this example okay so over here you can see the first column represents the serial numbers we have taken 10 different heights okay for the same pitch uh, or sorry for the same sample okay so x is nothing but the height okay i will draw a small diagram over here so this is the diagram and let's consider we want to find out the height okay so this is the value of x x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on suppose this is one of the x okay uh, let's find it, it it is as x5 then it is x6 okay so random values of uh, values of x are there okay so first value is 2 5 15 up to uh, so on up to the number x10 so x10 is our 9 okay then in the cla or center line average method what do we do we are going to add all these values of x okay instead of h we have taken over here the x okay that will not make any difference in the calculations so upon adding this will become 97 we know the value of small n over here the value of small n is 10 in this example the numbers the serial number is our we have taken 10 heights okay so our n becomes 10 we have added all these x1 x2 x3 xn up to x10 okay and after adding we will get this calculation we will get the value of the cla as this much okay so 97 is the addition of all this okay so this is 97 divided by number of 
n or n is our 10 so that's that's why the value of CLA becomes 9.7 micro inches so whatever the unit we are not certain about the unit unit can be micro inches unit could be micro mm's okay so depending upon uh, what unit we have taken that we will take okay and if we put all these values or for the same profile if we want to find out the RMS value then we will have to undergo this calculation or this equation okay now we have taken the squares of all the heights of x okay so square of 2 is 4 then square of 5 is 25 likewise we have taken the squares of all the x values and we have added those added those values okay so its addition is this much okay that is 1303 okay and we are dividing it with again 10 we uh, n remains same that is the 10 and we have taken the square root of all this so we will get the final value as uh, final value as uh, 11.415 micro inches okay so as already we have said that cla or central line average method is not that accurate or uh, it is not that accurate as that of the root mean square value there is little difference and this difference is about 11 percent okay or 1.1 times the difference approximately 1.1 or 1.12 times the difference is there okay so this rms value is always greater than the cla value okay if you go through different books you will find that somebody have mentioned it it is this RMS value is 1.1 times greater. Some authors have said that it is 11 times greater. Okay, sorry, 11% greater. So there is little confusion about this. So it is 11%. Some authors are describing that it is 11% greater. Some authors are saying that it is 1.1 times greater. Okay, but in fact, this value RMS value is greater than the CLA value okay so using this equation or using this example we can easily understand the difference between CLA and RMS okay CLA is center line average method and RMS is the root mean square value method okay if you have any doubts let me know into the comment box please like this video and share with your friends so that they also get the different values or different methods to find out the roughness of the surface.